Hi, so yeah, we have another cat. This is a set neck flying V kit. Don't know the manufacturer. Got it from a seller in the UK. It was the last one they had in stock. Or may have been the only one they had in stock, I don't know. Mega, mega cheap for what it is. It's mahogany or a version of mahogany, a very light mahogany. Um, came with everything. You'll see through the video. I'll do a play test just shortly. Um, that I've replaced some stuff on it but the guts of the guitar are as they come and the kit went together really easily and nicely um, just some sanding and some fine adjustments but nothing major um, and it came together pretty well it's quite a light guitar though it's not too heavy for what it is and a bit of deflection in the neck because it's not the strongest piece of wood in the world but it's holding its tune not too bad and um, the only thing I am doing is I've ordered different pickups for it. These things are microphonic as normal with these cheap pickups. So I've ordered some new pickups. And when we do a playthrough, I've got this. It's maybe an unfair comparison, but I do have my own um, Gibson Flying V. It's 2016 Flying V model. Totally standard. The only thing I did change on it was the control knobs. And it's because it's got push pull for coil splitting. But the ones that comes with is the wee top hat ones and you kinda grab them to pull out. Um so I've replaced it with these ivory ones. But we'll do a I've got a couple of wee clips. I've not got much of the build process, but I have some. And uh, we've spoken about some of the issues with the kit or whatever else, so I'll play them and then we'll come back and we'll do a little play test of this guitar. Okay, so bear with me. It's a quick midway check of this guitar. I haven't done this since the start, but we're working on the 5e. Um, this hopefully will go in between two parts of the video. But we're ready, everything's just sat on to. This pickup for some reason isn't cut straight. If you'll see, it sits at an angle and it's flush with the body, so we we'll have to make up a new bass pickup. Also, the way it came, the switch tip was broken, so I'll replace that. And I'll maybe do something else with this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, pickups are just sitting in this one, looks as though it's awful tight in it, so I'm going to have to look at that. And what's happened is when they've soldered that cover, it's tightened it up. So we'll see. And then the other thing is this box had no protection. If you've seen the state of the box, this was all thrown against it, as this wasn't covered in anything. And it's, if you were to pick up the camera, it looks quite mad. So I need to go read through the past box and see if we've got another one. But the rest, it's all coming up okay. Really happy with it so far. done with the stain and the sat finish, it's looking okay. With it so far, like I said, we're at the stage that I just need to give it a little light rub here and a couple of little spots, a little right rub here and then a quick blast over and then sort out my friends and stuff, get the fretboard oiled up. I'll cut a new pit guard for it. Still got some scratch plate material. I'll cut a new pit guard for it and then start to get it assembled. That'll be as ready. I don't know whether I'm going to use these pickups. That's the only thing I have ordered other ones because these things tend to have a been very microphonic because they don't glue down the cover on the top. I think I can hear that moving. That's what causes them to be microphonic. What you do is you take the cover off. You can put either silicon adhesive or wax here, and it stops that just shaking ever so much. That's what causes the feedback, the microphone feedback. So that's 
So we'll see if we'll do something with that or whether I'll take these to bits and fix them. Right, I've just finished soldering up. It's actually quite nice around here. Last couple of days so I'm out in my cabin doing it. Got a bit of soldering station set up a bit better on the kitchen table. I was just testing things. <laughs> A bit of feedback off of this, so I'm going to fit different pickups to it. I'm not going to keep these pickups, but pop a sound test shortly. But what well, seems to be working all right. Happy with it so far. Looks quite good. Hi, oh. uh, this is a normal place. We got one of these Maestro by Gibson's hanging up, the cheapest decent wee guitar you can buy. I've seen a lot of bad reviews for it, but it's actually alright. I was going to do some stuff to it, we'll see. But this is all my rubbish lying about. This wee amp that comes with that. I've actually got a Marshall sitting there for out here, but um, that's what I use. Some bits and pieces, some wee tools. A lot of my tools are in the garage or here. But this is my wee cabin. I have a lot of good nights in here. But well, that's a few years back. Me show through that was a project I started. I don't think I'll ever do it. Things in a lot of mess. But eh, uh, I'm just going to sit when the weather's nice. People come and get drunk. I used to brew beer and I'd have my bar set up over here. That with all the kegs on it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody walking out of here sober. It's great. It's all panelled and lined. It still gets quite cool during the winter, and it's not ideal for like spring guitars or anything in so that's why I was doing the coatings inside or in my garage just now um, but we'll do a proper sound test shortly I just thought I'd show an update of where we're at you see it's all quite good the finish has come up nice in this we just sat and finish over the stain back this kit's went together really really well I haven't had a was there any issue with this kit? I think it was the only thing I didn't like and some of these kits have it is where the drill for the pickup was and this is right on the corner right where you're going to screw in the pickup so I made a new hole here this didn't have the bridge holes drilled so they've been done apart from that the neck fitted absolutely great pick guard was a mess it's yeah this thing um, it just wasn't sitting at the right angle so I changed the control layout and changed, made a new pit guard for it and a truss rod cover. It's kind of similar to a Flying V. In fact, when I do a playthrough, I've got a Gibson Flying V put against it, which maybe is already on the video if I put this in the centre. One of the things I've done is I've fitted the treble bleed kits to these. I've got a few of them sitting. So when you turn down your volume, you have turn the right one down. The guitar doesn't just tone. Cheap effective thing. But that's it, eh? That's the strings I'm using. Got some bright wires nines. So we'll do a little test of the sounds. When I'm in it again this time through my amp Y T T box it sits on my home stereo, just in through a Cambridge audio amp into mission speakers um, I don't have the app because I'm filming on my iPad today and on my phone I've got the these I've not downloaded these it's actually quite a good wee amp I found this by accident but it's a Boss tuner amp and it just looks like a pedal works great free um, practically in tune but so that's what's on that so I don't have the control so I'm just on the very basic settings of the amp it's like four bass settings. Um, as I said through the video, this is pretty much as it comes. I've not replaced the pickups yet. I did replace the pots, the full size pots, and a new switch because it was broken. And I put treble bleed uh, circuits into the two volumes. Um, it's just basically a, a resistor and a capacitor that are wired in parallel and they go across log one and log two of your volume pots. You don't put it on your tone pot obviously. 
goes in your volume pocket. So then basically retains your tone as you turn down. So you hear the. Mm. You keep the tone. It's not really. It doesn't. Mm. Not lose the tone of the guitar, but we'll try this pickup. You can hear in a tap. It is. It is pretty microphonic. So we might get some squealing like a pig, but. <laughs> And fast because it's got the satin finish on it. Pickups are really, really muddy though. I don't like these pickups at all. But um, we'll hear it as a comparison to a proper flying V. So let's switch over. Yeah. See, this is a 2016 model. I can't remember pickups, it's in a 2016. That's what we have, one bridge pickup. See, I don't know who the manufacturer of this kit is. Um, I wish I did, because I was seriously thinking about buying another kit from whoever it was. It needed a fair bit of sanding around the edges, but there was nothing needed done to the neck at all. Didn't need shimmed in any way. Fitted great. Um, headstock was all cut fine. Just some issues with the hardware. I've changed the nut, obviously, as you do in these guitars, and tidied up fretboard. Even the frets were pretty much bang on level. They only needed a very light dressing around the side, so very happy with this one. This has turned out nice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If so, please leave me a like. Much appreciated. Catch you soon. Bye now. <laughs>